Brave Soul waits to release his top 10s for the year until mid-January. I mean, seriously, why am I the only one who waits? The year's not over until it's over. I saw some publications put up their best of the year list in November. It's like Christmas ads, it just keeps rolling further and further forward. Oh, people are doing the whole Christmas in July thing now. Best of the year, so far. Nothing has happened yet. I, however, prudently choose to not even start working on these babies until the year's good and over, so I don't miss anything. Who knows what utter monstrosity might sneak in under the wire. I'm not procrastinating. I'm being thorough. Okay, I'll admit, I did drag my feet a little bit doing the worst list this year. Because I'll be honest, I didn't really hate all that much. I mean, in fact, I quite liked a lot of the year. After the awful, awful year that was 2014, 2015 was a goddamn relief. I mean, did Azalea have a hit this year? No, see? Much better year. Can't wait to do my best list. I almost don't want to drag myself through the dregs when pop music took such a notable uptick. In fact, it's not too late to skip this list, is it? Can we go right to the best? Nah, nah, you'd probably kill me. All right, let's do this. We're counting down. I don't fuck with you. The top 10 worst hit songs ass, of 2015. Bitch, you. you look, you look dumb ass bitch. Number 10. I don't know how to say this, but um, I'm too old for this shit. First, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I don't wanna if that ass don't sit like a horse. I be bothering look, I'm in my 30s. In pop music terms, I'm ready for the nursing home. I'm just sitting at home listening to all my old LPs on my hi-fi while the whippersnappers listen to their tween core on Snapgram or whatever the hell. So let me be clear that while I do hate that this song got big, I hate how it got big even more. Let me explain. This is T. Wayne, who is currently tied with Young Thug for world's most generic rap name. I've never heard of him, and had I not had to do this list, I literally would have never heard this song. I don't know that anyone really has heard this song. It didn't seem to get any radio play or sell any records. It got famous the same way that Harlem Shake did. It was a soundtrack for a stupid meme. Except that Harlem Shake at least was tied to something weird enough that I get why it went viral. This got big off a of meme not funny enough to mention that spread entirely through vines, which you might recall are six seconds long. Most people who have heard this song only know the first couple lines. This is without exaggeration the stupidest way anyone has ever gotten a hit song. The idea that someone got famous off of vines infuriates me. And I'm famous on YouTube! Toilet seat ass nigga man I swear you get peed on And it's very clear that there is absolutely no way this song would get big on the merits of it being an actual song cause it isn't. And it's basically just a demo. There's no chorus it's just him rapping about how great he is which he is demonstrably not. Got a tiger as a pet I just took him to the very homie I Turns out my tiger has lymphoma. It's very sad. I just took him to the very homie and what's with the vocals dying at the end of that line? Usually you do that for a curse word or on the word down so you can drop the beat, not just at the end of a random sentence. Kinda just sounds like the DJ just wants you to stop. I certainly do. Don't mistake confusion for interest, you nobody. This is not the future I was promised. I'm the king of this shit, crowned by the toilet. That means don't fuck with you. Number nine. Look, I put a country song on here and it is not bro country. We'll have a party. It's not that bro country has magically gone away or gotten better. I've just become numb to it. It's the same song over and over again. I, I feel kind of bad about that. I really should include at least one because it's such a plague over the entire genre. And instead the song I picked is uh, sung by women. I got a girl crush. Hey to admit it bad. I heard about the controversy over this song long before I ever actually listened to it. Country song by lesbians, huh? Well, that's gutsy. I'm impressed. Can't wait to hear it. I got a girl crush. This is weirdly somber for a song about lesbian curiosity. I wanna taste her lips. Yeah, cause they taste like what? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. I want her long blonde hair. I want her magic touch. Yeah, cause maybe then you want me just as much. I didn't think 
they could make a song about girl on girl that was more horse shit than I kissed a girl. But Little Big Town pulled it off. I want to kiss a girl because I'm so into a guy. What the hell is this? The way that she's pulling you in. The more I hear this song, the more it makes my skin crawl. It promises one thing, then pusses out because it doesn't want to be actually edgy. But of course, even that much was too edgy for some. But even without the cop out, tee hee, just kidding, no homo, I have absolutely no idea what purpose this serves. I'd call it just a tease, except it's too mopey to be hot. I'd call it a song about sexual confusion, except it focuses so much on the bait and switch. I'd call it a joke song, except it's so serious. Whatever it is, it's complete and thorough bullshit. I got a girl crush. Girl crush, are you serious? That's like finding out at the end of Jimmy Buffett's Cheeseburger in Paradise that it was made out of tofu. Look, like boys, like girls, whatever. Just don't lie to me. It ain't slowing down. I don't fuck with you. Number eight. You a stupid how? You a you a stupid how? You a stupid how? You a you a stupid how? <laughs> yeah, look at that dislike bar. Wow. I never minded this song. See, these are the songs by Nicki Minaj I dislike. The pot stuff. The sellout stuff. I've never hated the Nicki songs that people tell me to hate. Stupid Ho? Didn't hate it. Anaconda? I, I like that song more and more. When she's doing her pure hip-hop shtick, I think she's, you know, normally she's untouchable. So it really, really pains me to say that I finally, finally managed to find a Nicki Minaj rap song that I couldn't justify even the tiniest bit. Nothing but real niggas only. Bad bitches only. Rich niggas only. To be fair, this is more of a young money group joint, so there's plenty of blame to go around. But I usually thought Nicki was good enough to not let young money drag her down with them. I, I didn't even think her verse on Bedrock was that bad. And I just be coming off the top as best as. Okay, maybe it was, but this is so much worse. Hoes couldn't test me, even if the name was Pop Quiz. I mean, first off, the beat is absolutely terrible, and the hook is sung by Chris Brown, which, you know, this is all you need to know there. I keep trying to wash my hands of Chris Brown, and he just keeps showing back up like a, like a herpes virus. And it starts off so well. Never fuck Wayne, I never fuck Drake. All my life, man, fuck sake. That's right, you sexist. What kind of girl do you think she is? If I did, I'm a nudge with him and let him eat my ass like a cupcake. My man fool, he just or, or not. I don't duck nobody but tape. Gear, that was a setup for a punchline on duct tape. What, what? You know, normally you shouldn't have to clarify things like that, but yeah, it's a good thing she did because I, I wouldn't have realized I was supposed to be a punchline otherwise. I mean, I know we all love a good duct tape joke. But that one wasn't really a knee slapper. Dinner with my man on a G5 is my idea of an update. And that was the good rapper. It's only downhill from here. I never fucked Nikki because she got a man. But when that's over, then I'm first in line. And the other day. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Drake. Well, you know, LA traffic had a city slow. She was sitting down on that big butt, but I was still staring at the titties, dog. Yeah. Oh my God, Drake. And you wonder why your ex doesn't call you on your cell phone anymore? Shut up. Shut up. Oh, and let's not forget genetically modified Gila monster Lil Wayne. I never fucked Nick and that's fucked up. If I did fuck, she'd be fucked up. Whoever is hidden ain't hitting it right. Cause she act like she need dick in her life. Oh my God, Nicky. Why do you put up with this idiot? Shouldn't he be off fighting Captain Kirk or something? What do you even get out of being associated with Young Money anymore? Just cut him loose, Nicky. They're making you dumber. I don't fuck with you. Number seven. I just wanna look good for you, good for you. Uh -huh. I just wanna look. Is anyone else creeped out by this? I mean, she still looks like she's ten. Uh, anyway, look, I have no real idea why Selena Gomez even exists in pop culture. I'm not sure what she offers to anyone except those weird dudes who are creepily invested in watching Disney princesses become legal, which I guess is at least something to somebody. Other than that, what else is there to her? Well, I'm so sick of that same old Selena Gomez song, so breathe it. Take away your things and go. See, this is why I wait to make these lists until January when no one cares anymore. If I hadn't, this wouldn't have made it onto the list. Of course, no one cares about this song either, so I'm probably not going to need credit for that. I doubt this made anyone else's list, but from the first second I heard it, I totally, utterly hated it. 
If this isn't even a sexy song, so what's the point? It's not like she has much of a singing voice or a personality. I'm not a fan of Miley Cyrus, but you know, Miley Cyrus has a vision. Miley Cyrus wants to be there. And Demi Lovato, Ariana Grande, they're good singers and they seem to enjoy singing. But Selena Gomez seems to be a pop star for the same reason that Jed Bush is running for president. Eh, what else am I gonna do? By the way, it's worth noting that this was written by Charlie XCX, aka the good Selena Gomez. Which is how you know this song is gonna be bad. If it was any good, she'd have sung it herself. this off as a song is like passing off a chassis as a full car. Next. I don't fuck with you. Number six. I found myself dreaming. So, um, Megan Trainer continues to be a blight on humanity. But at least she has range. It's good to know that in addition to being skin-crawlingly obnoxious, she can make the inert mom music that seems to have an increasing share of the pop charts. Not only that, now she's dragging good artists down with her. John Legend used to be interesting, I swear to God. This isn't on the list, I just don't have much more to say about the other one. Dear Future Husband may as well be titled Love You Like I'm Trying to Lose You. I remember when All About That Bass came out last year, it was, it was still up in the air whether Megan Trainor's well-intentioned but flawed self-empowerment anthem showed potential or just stupidity. She immediately answered that question with her second song, Dear Future Husband. I was relieved when that release got cancelled in favor of Lips Are Moving, which is halfway tolerable, but then they went ahead and released this again anyway. She knows who her audience is. Conservative 35-year-old moms who probably read Twilight, and anyone who's gonna end up that way in the future. So yeah. It turned out that Megan Trainer was a garden variety idiot. Hooray. God help whatever poor schmuck turns out to be her dear future husband. By the way, it's sure not gonna be John Legend who's married to a supermodel and not a teenager who calls her ass her boom boom. Sorry, I'm still not over that. <laughs> 